All right, my wonderful people, thank you and welcome back. Ohaneze fought Malami as federal government to intervene in Ekwerematu's trial. All right, onto this, the APES Ibo Social Cultural Organization, Ohaneze Ndibo, has faulted comments by Nigerian's Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, on the trial of former Deputy President of the Nigerian Senate, E.K. Ekwerematu, in the United Kingdom. All right, Mr. Ekwerematu and his wife, Batri, we are on the 23rd June arrested in the UK by London Met Police and charged with conspiracy to traffic a person to the United Kingdom in order to harness or harvest his organ. Meanwhile, the case was transferred to Central Criminal Court in London, popularly known as Old Bali, where Mrs. Ukwemadu was granted bail on strict conditions. But the senator who or who was uh, denied bail because he was said to be a flight risk. Mr. Malami told reporters on Thursday that the Nigerian government would not interfere with any local or international legal battle involving the former deputy senate president Ike Ekwaramadu. On to this, he said it had never been the tradition of the government to interfere in a judiciary process whether in Nigeria or elsewhere. Meanwhile, in a statement on Monday and Sunday by his spokesperson, Chidozie Obonaya, the Ohanez Ndibu counted the Attorney General saying sovereign usually interfere to save their citizens in foreign countries. The group asked the Nigerian government to intervene and assist the lawmaker and his wife. My good people, they continue to urge the federal government of Nigeria led by President Muhammad Buhari and Mr. Godfrey Onyema, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Nigerian High Commission in the UK, the Senate and House of Representatives of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to burnish their diplomatic channels in ensuring that Ekwerimadu and his wife get the desired assistance by transferring the case to Nigeria on an SND said. Mr. Bonaya recalled that Nigeria in late in 2018 and 2019 using her diplomatic way secured the release of uh, Zena Bukala in Nigeria lady after 124 days in Saudi Arabia prison over alleged drug trafficking. We believe that Mr. Kwaramadu's case should not be different, especially when Nigeria enjoys long, long standing caudal relations with the UK and all the individuals involved in the UK case and Nigerian nationals, the group said. All right, my good people, Hanez and Nibu continue to say that the lawmaker had deserved Nigeria metrosolously in various capacity and was uh, discorrected with the service honor of the commander of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, adding that a measured identity or dignity to Mr. Ikorimado, an illustrious Igbo and a serving senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is a sad denouement to Nigeria and indeed the entire Africa. Meanwhile, the group's spokesperson also fought the continued incarceration of the lawmaker by British authorities despite earlier making full disclosure to the UK High Commission that the donor David Uwe was undergoing medical investigations for a kidney donation to his daughter. One would expect Nigeria to feel scandalized by the initial contempt by the British authorities in discontinuing an official document of Nigeria on the donor's age in the first place and feel disrespected by the continued uh, review cell of Grand Ekwemad Bell for a clearly valuable offense, he said. Alright, the Ekwemadu's 
are facing charges of conspiring to traffic a person for organ investing or harvesting in violation of the Modern Slavery Act 2015. Obi Nabeta, a Nigerian doctor practicing in the UK, has also been charged along with a Quarimadu Act. Mr. Obeta oppressed appeared before Bali Magistrate Court in 13th July and is charged under the Modern Slavery Act with arranging the several uh, travel of a 21 year old man between August 2021 and May 2022 to exploit him. Hmm. My good people, that has been the talk of the day. Well, Ohanese have really made a plea to the federal government to involve themselves to acquire Mado's uh, problem. Here is the problem as Ohanese fought Malami asking federal government to intervene in Aquare Mado's uh, trial. Well, the appears have really made their claim and their wish and their plea stating fact and reasons why government using Malami to use as a point of contact to come to the aid of uh, Ekwerimado and Ekwerimado and his wife Beatrix we are on the 23rd June arrested by the UK London Met the case was transferred to Central Criminal, Criminal Court in London popularly known as Old Bailey where Mrs Ekwerimado was granted bail um, granted bail orders stringent uh, conditions well on today's uh, and will have really said that the government should please interfere in a judicial process our government will say well we will not have time for this and uh, it has to do with the international body this time around though we have the sovereignty we have all it takes but for now what is really holding the federal government involving themselves and that is how to do with an evil man Mado. and the Hanes and Dibu have uh, come up to say well please Malami come to our aid we urge the federal government of Nigeria led by President Muhammad Buhari and the Minister Agofre Onyema the Minister of Foreign Affairs Nigeria High Commissioner in the UK and the Senate and House of Representatives of the Federal Republic of Nigeria all these he joined together to beg to punish their diplomatic channel in ensuring that Ekwerimado and his wife get the desired assistance from transferring the case. Well, if the case is being transferred to Nigeria, uh, you know, it, has, it will be a very dismissed one. Now that uh, we are facing so many things in the country, it will be very, very difficult, very, very clear to be difficult to say that UK will not will not even listen to Nigeria. Well, let me have your take on the comment section. I would like to have your take. As Mr. Bonaya have recorded that Nigeria in late 2018 and 2019 using the uh, diplomatic weight secure the release of uh, Zenab Kala. Kaila, yes, a Nigerian lady after four hundred and after one hundred and twenty-four days spent in Kirikiri. All right, that's been the talk of the day, my good people. What more are we going to say? Well, let me have your take on this matter. Remember that you are into Blessed Be World News and Entertainment. Please do what to tap on the subscription button. Please share, and God continue to bless you. Thanks and God bless.